Hey, man. And we back on another episode of Sneakers and Strands. It's your boy, Slick Boy Ziggy. And I'm your goddamn boy, Hard Nard. Hey, man. And we back on another episode of Sneakers and Strands. Your favorite show that's not the podcast. You understand me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We back. We back. We back, man. Yeah, we Shouts out to everybody out there that been watching the show, man. Showing us love, man. We appreciate all the support, all the followers. You know, we had the uh, garage party for the um, for the release. First episode, everybody, we appreciate everybody that showed up. Big Mac yes, had sir. to kick yeah. off his birthday with us. It was just a family affair, man. We had a great time, took some great pictures. Y'all can check them out on the Sneakers and Strands um, Instagram page. You know, some videos and stuff where we were just kicking back. Turning up, had us some fish and fries and shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, it was a Friday night. Well, you know what black folk do on Friday night, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they got that feel with good as hell. Boy, that feel with good as hell, boy. Shouts out to the house lady, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always keeping us in, 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 in good standings, man. Keeping us something good on our stomach, man. Hey, man. If you're going to come over here the next morning and destroy the rest of the fish, <laughs> boy, it's tone and hurt. <laughs> I woke up, I'm like, where the fish at? Yeah, boy, the them boy came over here while you was asleep. I said, God, dang. <laughs> murdered the fish <laughs> while he was asleep. I sure was going to murder it today, didn't I? Boy, for real, for real, man. Hell yeah, man. We had know. a lot going on, man. Shouts out to my boy T-Dog put on one of the biggest. Oh, um, yeah, the pool part, the wet part. Yeah, positive events in the hood, man. Wasn't no fights or nothing, you know what I'm saying? No shootings, mm -hmm. no none of that. Nothing but some good family fun, man. We're going to kick it back off 4th of July weekend. Part 2, 4th of July weekend. Y'all push up on the July the 2nd. Saturday, we're going to be in the apartments. You know the water, water gun wars. Fire with it, In the man. fire with it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that, man. Yes, sir. Everything be going good with you, my dog? Yeah, man. I can't complain, man. Ain't no... I know you're glad you got your truck back. Yes, sir. But that's about the only thing been slowing me up a little bit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Getting that dang truck. But, hey, we back now. Hey, Sneakers and Scram, we back. Believe you feel me? So, y'all be on the lookout because we're going to take y'all all through the city, man. Yeah, we back in the streets we, we, with it, we man. We finna get y'all the hottest in the, the, the street news, the entertainment news, the hood news, the all sneakers, right. the strands. You know what I mean? Politics, all mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? All we, that, we, we man. giving you all of it, man. Know what I mean, we also um like to showcase when uh our people opening up new businesses. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement. Mm -hmm. We just like to show love to our people. Oh, uh, y'all make yes, sure y'all follow Retro Ricks, Maddie Kicks. Uh, they open up a new store here in Atlanta. Um, for all your good retros, you know, joins and. Sneaker drops, you know what I'm saying? They got a new uh, storefront in Atlanta. Uh, I think we're going to pop up on them this weekend at their grand yeah, opening. So y'all be looking out for the footage of that. Um, you know, we just show love to our community, you know. And they always show love to us, so it's only right that we show love back, you know. But we do do paid commercials, you know, if you got a business. You need some advertisement. You need yeah, get at her, man. Hmm. I say yeah, get at her. Yeah, get at her. You need you need your business advertised, or you need a commercial for your business. You know we come through, shoot you a good video for you for your business. Get you some commercials up on our site. Whatever you need done, just make sure you get at us, man. Yes, sir. What we doing, man? Uh, before we go in further, we want to say uh. Our condolences go out to uh, school trouble. Yes, sir, man. Uh, the whole uh, MMB family, duct tape family. You know yes. what I'm saying? Our condolences go out to them boys. Yes. You know, it's a real hard time for them guys right now. Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all keep them in y'all prayers. Family, uh, loved ones, and friends, man. We're going to keep all y'all in the prayer, man, because school it. was a real, man, a real general out here. Leading a positive movement, you know what I'm saying? Believe it. But the devil is always working, especially when you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you know, we're going to turn up for the school they got there tomorrow. Kind of like visit tomorrow, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Thursday, yep. Damn sure will. You know what I mean? Damn sure will, man. So tomorrow, man, if everybody come out, I think it's at Coin Park, man. Y'all yep, yep. come out there, man, and show some love to the school, man. For Believe real, for man. real. I'm going to be down. 
Yeah, that was just a real crazy situation, man. I know everybody thought it, it was some other shit than what it was, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But we just hate to see good brothers go go any kind of way, however they go, you know what I'm saying? Especially good, positive brothers that be out here, you know, doing positive things for their community, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and creating opportunities for others, man, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So definitely much love to salute to his family, the whole Duck Tape family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boy, hold your head, man, right now, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to ATL Exotics, man. They got these nice cups, man. Oh, like, yeah. Shout out to ATL Exotics got my boy, got, my boy got a whole case of these motherfuckers. I just went and grabbed me one. Man, you really ain't yeah. supposed to drink nothing but lean, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you really ain't supposed to drink, but you know that drink, man. That drink out of here, but you know I got me some lemonade. I don't, yeah, drink, yeah. I don't do drink. You feel me? I just do lemonade. That's all I drink. You feel me? Hey, mm -hmm. yeah, man. This is a little lemonade. This is a little lemonade in my cup. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It is what it is, man. It's good to be back, man. We back, we back filming, man. Good to be back filming the whole nine, man. We back working, man. Yeah, man. That's what I like to do, man. <laughs> Ain't nothing like working. Nothing like here. getting some work in, man. Filming us some podcasts, man. Some shows. Going to some good stores, some sneaker stores, and some... Getting to meet new people, yeah. you know what I mean? All yeah, we're going we gonna to pop up at that RetroCon probably this weekend also. Oh, well, yeah. RetroCon 4, I think it said. RetroCon 4. Yeah, we definitely popping up there. Most definitely, most definitely, man. My boy say he gonna have some stuff going at retail, too. Yeah, yeah, he did. Boy, you want some retail shoes, but you better get out there early. Oh, them things will go fast, huh? Oh, they gonna go fast. They ain't gonna last. They not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> he said they not gonna last, and they gonna go fast. Mm -hmm. That's a for show, for shit show. Because it's so, it's so normal not to get shoes for retail now, you true, know what I mean? true. Nigga, nigga like me don't even complain no more. I used to be bitching like hell, but God damn, I got to go and stop it by these high-ass shoes. But now when you realize, man, look, man, if you don't win no round. They're going to take my pot anyway. If you want them, got there, you got to skin a little more for them, Let man. me see that life. That's all, that's all I can got. That's all, that, that's all going down. That's all you can do, man. But hey. Damn. That's why I just get the one. Like me, I love shoes, but I don't like every Jordan that drop. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I don't like every single Jordan that drop. That's why a lot of folks be like, no, boy, you got them. No, because that ain't what I like. You feel what I'm saying? True, true. I like what I like. I don't like what everybody else like. Like a lot of hype shoes, I don't even get them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I might get the shit that ain't no hype, but then it turn into some hype a month later. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? That's just how it be, man. Hype releases be more, be costing more. Yeah, because they hyped all up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or well, they call them hype release. Mm -hmm. They've been waiting for them. Mm. It is what it is, man. Sneakers and Strands show, man. We <coughs> we've been doing a lot of work, <coughs> but we back. Yes, sir. Back we on your neck, man. Back. On your on your neck. We coming all week, yeah, man. And, and I want to send a uh, special prayers out to all the folk that were killed up in Buffalo, New York, man. The grocery right. store shoes. You know what I mean? Definitely want to send prayers out to all the people up there in Buffalo, man. You know, the school shooting, or uh, the little boy that shot up the school. What that happened at? I think you in Texas. I mean? In Texas. Yeah, I man. think so. A hey, prayer go out to them people, too, out there, man. We living in the, the last day, man. So, you know, I just think everybody need to stay prayed up and scrapped up. Whatever you got to do to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Don't yeah, go looking for it, now. Yeah, just don't go looking for don't it, Don't go man. looking for it, man. But if you come your way, you got to protect yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? So, hey, it's up to each one to teach one. You feel me? Most oh, definitely. And yeah, man, y'all know that day. We, we, we all know what we smoking on today, man. What the strand of the day is? The no cut. No cut, man. The no cut diamond. We back on diamond again today. <coughs> diamond, man. Back on the diamond today. And the NL, y'all got some strands y'all want us yeah, to test out on the show. Y'all missed the no cut Ralph. Oh, we, yeah. we didn't, unfortunately, we didn't win. We ain't win We either. entered, no, let me, let me see, let me, we entered the Ralph. We, you know what I'm saying? We back down, entered the Ralph of Sneaks and Strand. We, unfortunately, we didn't win the trip to Miami or the free bag or yeah. the free goddamn pound. But hey, man, it's all love, they man. Gave our five, support. They, they gave out 5,000 all free pounds, but the nigga who won took the fire rack. Mm. Yeah, he didn't even take the weed. He took the money. What? Mm -hmm. Damn, I don't know though. That that's a that's a that's a 
I don't know, but that, that, but that you can find that shit can be worth more than five racks, right, though. Oh, y'all. it is gonna be worth more than five. Yeah, you talking about See, me? I'd have had to get that bag. Mm-hmm. I know I'm, I'm a scratch. Goddamn, a ten. I just scratch his ass out, boy. Ninety eight fifty out his boy. ass, boy. Yeah, yeah. So free nine, eight racks or something, boy. Man, Woo. yeah, so off a of twenty, off a of twenty fifteen dollar ticket. Yeah, and he said he bought two tickets. Wow. <laughs> he bought two tickets in one. Wow. <laughs> Ain't that crazy, man? Hey, Damn, man. we had 20 tickets, man. Hey, Can't man. Ain't got, they ain't win one, one thing. Nigga bought two tickets and struck. I said, well, be blessed, my brother. Be Can blessed. Well, yeah, man. Just a lot going on in the world, man. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff going Congratulations. on. Congratulations on a, on another positive note, man. Congratulations to all the 2022 graduates. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about to start y'all life off. Yes, sir. Um, just be smart. Be mindful. You know what I'm saying? Take it one step at a time. Don't move too fast. Don't do nothing crazy. Play yourself out of the street. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just take it easy. That's the advice mm-hmm. I give to you all. Any, anybody, you know, graduating high school, because you really just been the start of your life. You don't even realize it, but your life about to start. Some of y'all parents about to put y'all out of their house. It's about to, <laughs> a lot about to go on. Some Shit, finna get real. <coughs> some of y'all finna have to start paying some bills, mm-hmm. working full time, you know what I'm saying? All that. Some some folk parents been struggling, now it's a chance for y'all to, you know, help out a little bit more because you got a little more time to work. Yes, sir. Or whatever, what have you. If you, you know, if you're going to college, you know what I'm saying? I encourage you to go to college or, you know, further your education. If you're going to the military, be safe. You know what I'm saying? Just, you Shout know what I mean? My little niece, Bree, she just went to the military. Y'all, y'all leave outside of y'all nests, you know, the place you call home. Be mindful of your surroundings out here, y'all. That's so, all. you know, man, when you get away from the people you know, you don't know. Who you're around, so you you know what I mean, especially in college and mm-hmm. the Air Force or the Army and stuff. So yeah. you just gotta be mindful of your surrounding the people you start to be friend. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta just be careful. Be careful, man. That's all we saying. Just be mindful. Be careful. Yeah, so no dark alleys. No <laughs> dark alleys. <laughs> <coughs> no dark alleys, man. No, you got real. You got real human traffickers out here, man. Yeah, for real, for real. <coughs> that real talk. For real, for real. What um, what shoes you got on your radar right now? What shoes? What, man, what shoes you 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 wanted, but if you couldn't get lately? Man, I think it was them. Uh, now nah, you know what I want. They ain't even hit yet. I don't think. But it's them Bart Simpson on um, don't load. Mm. They the Bart Simpson don't load. They they are uh, red, blue, and yellow. Oh yeah. The Simpson color. Yeah. Yeah, man, that one, that what I got on my radar. Okay, know what I'm saying? Now what's up? The Bart Simpson. Man, they, 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 they nice, they nice summer colors. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> that what they give me the summertime. They vibe. blue and yellow. Blue, yellow, and red. Mm. I'm gonna be hard. Yeah, they is hard, man. Then you know they, 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 they got they in the Bart Simpson edition, so they, they collectible. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like them collectibles? Yeah, man, I like the collectible, man. Mm-hmm. Cause they gonna be worth some later on. One day, yeah. Nah, I mean, you just gotta take care of them. What store you? What store you want to? What store you been thinking about going to? We ain't hit yet. Man, I want to go to uh. <coughs> nah, <coughs> I know we ain't got name. We ain't hit heat yet. Nah, we ain't hit heat yet. We ain't hit a uh. What's the other one we were talking about? The uh. Wish ATL. Yeah, wish, wish. Gotta hit Wish. Gotta hit them. You know. We gotta go fuck with Hustle them too, bro. Right down MLK, yeah. man. That's where they at on MLK? Atlanta Sneaker Club, okay, man. Okay, okay. Yep. We gotta go support them, folks. You know what I mean? Gotta hit the Atlanta Sneaker Club. I know club. they from the hood. We gotta support the hood. We, they gotta, we, gotta, have, we got to find We got to find some more. Oh, yeah. it's a, it's a, You know, it's a lot on, man, that... I don't know of yet, so mm-hmm. I gotta do a little more research. But get what? No, we gonna find all y'all sneaker stores. And if y'all got some stores out there that y'all know we don't know about, man, hey, let us know. Let us know. Hit us in the DM. Yeah, man. Let us know. Let us know about all shoe stores, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Yes, sir. Cause a lot of all boutiques. mom and pop store. We def we love mom and pop boutiques. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The boutiques, man. We yeah, love mom and pop boutiques, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like they got the uh the height. I wanted to go here too. The height. Uh huh. That's when another shoe store. It's in Atlanta somewhere. Okay. It's on Cone Street. Well, that's it. Then you got the social status. I want to got name. Check them what they talking about. You just, you got a lot of little uh. And you know what else? What we got it? We we got to hit that Walters. We gotta we go. Gotta to go Walters. to Walters, bro. We got to go to Walters, bro. I been said that. Mm -hmm. I been said that. But we ain't want to do it too early in the, in the show. Yeah. Cause that gonna be like a. <coughs> We got to put that on a good episode. Though. Yeah, like a, You know what I'm saying? We, that got to be like a special episode type. I want I want to talk. To, is Walter still living? I don't know. Damn, man. We got to talk to somebody high up in there, man. Can give us some, some real history about yeah, that man. motherfucker, man. Not just not just us walking around in there, man. We need we need a real tour, man. Take us in the back one time, man. You know the, what I'm saying? Let the world know the history of the stove. Yeah, the we, we need the history on the stove, man. You know what I mean? Just a lot of it's a lot of famous rappers came through Walter, man. You know what I'm saying? Spent they the OG, of money. You know the shoe stove. Yeah, man. A lot of a lot of out of town <coughs> folks man, came through Walter and spent a lot of money. A lot of a lot of famous people. A lot of Just actors. Like they do Linux. Exactly. Exactly, a lot of actors, a lot of you know what I'm saying, entertainers, a lot of hustlers, a lot of a lot of hustlers. I'm telling you, that what nigga would get their dickies and you know dope what I'm saying, they dope boy Nikes and the old nine for that motherfucker. got down the the throwback Dr. J that you could find over yeah, the leather one. The, yeah, the, yeah, the leather one. They might be white with the goddamn blue back or white with the red back or white. For, for real, for man, real. Quit playing, man. They had all the chucks you wanted. Chuck, they were Chuck Hidden. Because that's all them was, the chuck. God dang, they the little chuck, though. I used to love them chuck. You know, Scott there. That's all they got, dang. That's the, that's the, that's the god dang shoe of the that's, god damn city. Yeah, man. Chucks, they man. diggers and chucks and, and Walter like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> got to take We definitely got to get these folks to it through the wall, too. Man, that's that that's gonna be a special show right there, boy. We got to get them. Man. I gotta do some hit. I gotta do some research on Walter too. Oh, we go up in there. You know, yeah. we gotta we gotta go up in there knowing knowing our stuff. You feel me? Believe me. Believe it. So we can make sure we ask the right questions. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? We need to know when the when they when the show opened. The store open. Who had mm -hmm. the idea? Got they, the year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we what's know. the hard what's the hardships y'all went through? Cause I know every business for them to last this long, they had to go through some type of yeah. hurdles. You know what I mean? Yeah. The roof done caved in before and all kind and of shit. You feel probably. me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It done, something done happened before. And I want to know what, what what kept you pushing. Yeah. When I know you probably want to know give how, up. I wonder how long they been open. Right. Ever since that's I was a, a kid, cool. that's what I'm saying. Like, and that, probably I wonder when. Then. I wonder when the doors open at Walters. That's a great question to know. That's a that's some good history to know. Google that, man. Hey, that what I'm gonna do Google too. Google that, man. Find that out for me. Find out when Walters open. That's a Atlanta. That's a staple. Yeah, that's a shoe store in the city. Now. Now. That's a historic store in the city. Store that a lot of kids don't even patronize because they don't know about it, bro. Mm -mm. Okay. Walter. I got what year? Walter's that like, bro? That was like, that was like this. You want it? That was like some shit that you you know what I'm saying? That was almost better than shouting. You went to Walter shouting about why you over here that walk. Yeah, there if you hit that walk Saturday, you got there and get free. You know what I'm saying? Nigga love to hit walk on Saturday, man. Come on, man. These kids don't even know about fuck with walk like that. Don't even know about Walter, man. That's crazy. Dang, they said them motherfuckers went open in 1956. Good night. I said 1956. <laughs> Damn. Open this door. Strauss died on July 25th at the age of 94. Wow. Damn, nigga live long. Wow, man. Damn, man. Damn. So he is dead. July 25th? Shit. Hey, well, he, he made history in this city, I can tell you that. 
But he came up with a brainchild then, didn't he? Made the article. Because people weren't really too tough, like, independently selling shoes and clothes back then, like that, especially the brands that he was selling. And now you look around, boy, everybody <coughs> doing it. Walter, bro. That shit's still going. Right now. To this day. <laughs> to this day. Walter closing, man. That's hey. crazy, bro. Walter Strauss. Hey, man. Shout out to that Shout out to Walter, Walter man. man. Shout out to Mr. Strauss, man. Dang. The founder of Walter's Shoe Store in Atlanta, man. Since 1956. Yeah, well, this is my first time ever seeing the picture of this man. This man be in the store. He used to be in the store. Yeah, I ain't never really seen he, him, though. Yeah, he's been I, I used to be young when I was in there. I went. You ain't even paying no attention. Yeah, yeah man. I'm just trying to get these. He, he be the white man ranking you up. Yeah, I ain't you know, you'll be noticed the black folk, the, the, the folk they that work in the store, the, they, they bring the shoes to the counter and they walk mm -hmm. off. And that white man right there be the one ring you up. They crazy though, man. Shout out that man, Walter, man. Legend. legend. ATL legend, man. Been had the city dripping. 1956. <laughs> Why what they were selling in Walters in 1956? Levi. Levi's <laughs> like a motherfucker. <laughs> Joy Dash. God damn. <laughs> what? 56, bro. I had to start off as one of them stores that, like, you know, the, the kind of upscale looking store that's next door to Walter. Yeah, but I think they done bought that too, though. Walter bought that too? Mm hmm. Yeah. But they used to sell all the gators and shit. Yeah. Walter bought that too. <coughs> see, I think Walter might have started off. Because, see, not, you got to think about the time. 1956, they were probably selling. The stuff that's on the gator the side, side, and then the other side was for the young folks. Yeah, so it might have been, yeah, it might have been a split. You see what I'm saying? He yeah, killing the whole been. community. He killing both ways. But you know what I think though? Cause when you look at the at how the where the store at, I believe his store would have for them motherfucking skyscraper with there. Cause goddamn, his shit don't look like nothing else around that mm -hmm. bitch. You see, it don't look you like see what nothing. I'm saying? And you he see? got that con he got that corner. Got yeah, that he got that corner light. That and they been looking hard. like that for years though. Yeah, the sign don't look as good as it used to look, but that uh -huh. motherfucker's definitely a goddamn staple in the community, boy. Good night. That's crazy. That what Tip no supposed to been trying. That Decatur Street ain't that what? Uh, Right around the corner. It gotta be right around the corner. That's that what he was saying. They go to Cater Street right up. And I'm right here on Memorial. Yeah. Hey, man. Well, I can't wait till we hit and got them check it out. But yeah, man. That's another staple of Atlanta history, man. Yeah, man. We give our history lessons and all of him, man. You feel me? Ain't no telling what you might learn in here. You feel me? And it's sneakers and strands, yo. You feel me, man? Boy, that's crazy. 1956. Jeez yeah, Louise. I'm going to some work in, man. Jeez Louise, man. Yes, sir. It's a real goddamn hustle right there, John. <coughs> that man's still standing. <coughs> what you think about the, the the all these indictments and shit going around, buddy? Right. Folks. And then they ain't even federal indictments. <coughs> man. What the fuck is this new shit? The state, state the indictment. state indict niggas now? On RICO charges. On oh, RICO charges, man. That's what we doing now. Me personally, man, I think the state case don't be strong enough for the Fed to get involved, bro. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because why wouldn't the Fed want to lock up a big entertainment? You know what I mean? Mm. That, that just be stripes for them. Because they don't want no money. But to get a big name yeah. and some shit. Just like they did Rollo. You feel what I'm saying? They love. Yeah. Like they did Michael Vick. You see, that nigga yeah. three years for some yeah. dog fighting shit. Come on, man. Yeah. This got them hundred some million dollar nigga. Got them in the prime of his career. Y'all want to snatch him out of the street for some fucking dog fighting. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that's a, that's legal in another country with y'all. And some shit that y'all say legal in this country be illegal in that country. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit like a cat 22. But at the end of the day with that indictment shit, man, and you see how they trying to use nigga rap lyrics and shit, bro. Yeah, that's a wig, man. Cause they, they only do that when they don't really got, got nothing, nothing, bro. They ain't really got they shit. They ain't got shit, so I'm a... God damn, man, that man playing throw shit to my... Yeah, he had a special message for the judge and all that. Man, that man rapping about a song, man. <laughs> man, get the hell out of here, but man. Man, shout out to YSL, man. Y'all boy, keep y'all head up, man. Get what? 
God gonna got that oversee that bullshit, bro. Y'all yeah, boy just no, stay prayed up, man. No young brother locked up, man. Nah, man. Shit ain't no play. That man, yeah, yeah, that man got there and help a lot of families, man. You know what I'm saying? He do feed a lot of people. Oh, feed a lot of people. Help. Got a lot of folks Niggas on payroll. Niggas feed they people. You feel me? Got a lot of folks on payroll <coughs> over there by itself, man. So y'all keep y'all heads up, man. You know what I'm saying? And he came for nothing. Yeah, shout it from that Cleveland. You feel his first CD? I came for nothing. Yeah. You for feel real, me? Real. And then as soon as a nigga make it up here. They, they go to hell. Cut a nigga legs off from under him, boy. That shit. Make he he boy making shit. too much legal money for him. True. Yeah, what nigga? See, nigga like him, they didn't expect to be as big as he is. You feel me? Nigga mm-hmm. surpass people's expectations. Yeah. They don't be liking that shit, bro. Nigga done got too big now. We gotta cut this nigga down a little bit. Yeah, we gotta cut his legs yeah, off. Yeah, let him know he still be touched a little bit. That's all they did. That's what they try to do. They caught him with all kind of lean and all kind of shit though. But bro, it really the it's the new. Atlanta District Attorney doing all that shit, bro. Yeah. It ain't even, I mean, the old uh, mayor, bitch. It ain't even the goddamn, really, the police. It the mayor want to prove a point trying to, I think they be running for office in the in the White House or something, because goddamn, when they, you know, when a new mayor or something come in and start doing shit like this, they trying to, they trying to goddamn get some rank, you know, mm-hmm. so they can get up in their goddamn career. Exactly. Because Keisha Land Bottle, shout it was cool with all the rappers. You feel what I'm saying? And she, and she probably knows some shit about to start happening. She got them, got the hell on out the way. <laughs> she said she don't even want that. She don't even want that shit no more. Cause see, it was too much. She wanted that first, but she seen the shit that come with it and the shit they try mm-hmm. to make you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. They realized they couldn't control it. Cause you know, her and T.I. And, and a lot of other old artists like Killer Mike and stuff, they were close. They was all on committees and stuff together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And she was smart cause she knew that these are the niggas that Got voices. You feel me? That, that that the young rap nigga listen to. Exactly. You know what I mean? Then new goddamn male coming in. Nah, we locking all their ass up. Fuck that. The they fuck they gang. Man. These niggas making millions of dollars off music. And bringing millions of dollars to into the, the, city, the city. Doing concerts and all kind of shit. Nigga buying million dollar houses for they people to live in. The million dollar taxes. That for the city. Exactly. I mean, man, come on. These folks creating jobs and opportunities for people that ain't have no Every type of Every time they have down. a concerted downtown, who get the park? A birthday venue. Who get the park in the city? Exactly. Birthday <coughs> badge. Who get the park in the city? Even when they throw their little birthday parties and shit, they still had to get permits from who? The, the city. city. That they yeah. have to pay for Y'all want to shoot some fireworks out here? You got to pay. Yeah. You, gotta, you know what I mean? I'm Everything just saying. They want it. But, but then, goddamn, it's just crazy, bro. That's why us as black men, bro, we got to goddamn be 10 steps ahead of shit, boy. Because sure. no matter how successful we get, bro, we still niggas, bro. You know, Trick told you that a long time ago. Thanks. On that goddamn, that, this world was good to me. Uh, you feel me? Country, tears of day. Uh, it's a nigga, day, bro. Okay, how much money day. you make, bro? Because it's always a cracker that mad because you a nigga and you got more than them. Yeah. And they feel like, how the hell this nigga... He don't deserve this. Let's knock him off that pedestal. You feel me? The world devil, it is what it is, man. We just got to make the best out of this shit. Man, it is what it is, man. Every time we try to change it, we end up dead in jail. <coughs> but this here is the Sneaks and Strands <coughs> show, man. What we do, what we do, man. Kick it how we kick it, man. Every week, man, on the Sneaks and Strands show, we bring y'all some luxurious strands and some you know, some great looking sneakers y'all can check out, man. You know, hopefully you got to get you a pair on. But if not, we got them here for you to check out. You know, we're going to be doing all kind of raffles and giveaways and all kind of old good stuff, man. We got planned for the for the viewers that been supporting us and showing us love. You know what I'm saying? So we just going to show y'all some love back, man. As long as y'all keep following, keep watching, keep subscribing. We see y'all watching. We see all the likes. On the on the on the Instagram yeah, page, man. we appreciate the love. <laughs> we appreciate the love, man. We definitely the appreciate Eastside the way, love, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to our we boys over there. No cut, man. No cut, man. Boy, keep it one hundred, man. Yeah, man. Keep a nigga smoking good, though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. But hey, if y'all do have any other strands that y'all wanna <laughs> let the world know about, man, just hit us up in the deal, man. Yeah. We got you. Donate. Y'all want to donate. Y'all got strands. Y'all want to donate. Y'all want to want to check out the strands. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it on the show. How we like it. You know what I'm saying? 
We'll definitely give y'all yes, a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Get y'all some good advertisement on here. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just get at us, man. Send us some strands, man. Send us some sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Who if y'all if you got a shoe brand or you got a shoe, you trying uh-huh. to get it advertised, send it to how let us, send man. Send us a sample. Send us a sample, man. We'll oh, hey, work you it out. I mean, we gonna we gonna make it shape, man. But y'all yeah, definitely man. keep tuning in, man. We got they gonna keep smoking the no cut, man. We gonna keep bringing y'all the hottest sneaker, man. And you know what else? I wanted to say this too, man. Uh, <clears throat> when my truck was gone, and my truck was getting fit, I had that rental car. It was a goddamn Jeep Wagoneer. Man, that was the fire SUV I done drove all year, man. You y'all, like the Wagoneer? Yeah, man. If y'all like them? If y'all <laughs> like four by four, boy. With no superchargers. Check out the Jeep and, wagon. Man, nil. check out that Jeep wagon nil, boy. I'm telling you. That thing nasty, boy. You say it got a him in it? Nah, it got the uh the the like the scat pack motor. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. In that, in that big ass truck? Yeah. That motherfucker was fat then. That huh? bitch is fat. That bitch got one eight on the back. I'm not just finna ask you shit. And that big, big ass got, SUV. But and it's four wheel drive. And that bitch got sport mode, got down snow, rain, mud. That shit got all sand, nigga, on top of butt. Damn. That bitch got a refrigerator, got dang, in the armrest. <laughs> got down, you can just keep your drinks and shit, but that shit got down. The Wagoneer. Man, that shit futuristic. It's a Jeep. It's a Jeep. Jeep Wagoneer. Yes, sir. Wow. Four by four. And four and with a series drive. three. See, what's the what's the highest series they go The on Grand right? Wagoneer. Oh. They, they, they probably want 120000 for that. You already know. <laughs> what they want for that one? The, the Series 3. The Series 3, they were like, nah, they were like 90 song. Yeah. Yeah, that's right up under the Grand. You know, it go for Series Ouch. 1 up to the Grand Wagon Mill. So it's Series 1, 2, 3. Then, then they want Wagon 90 for the 3. Hell yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker him. And then, get what? The Grand Wagon got twin turbos in that bit. That bit fast as hell. Mm. I don't got that. Hey, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all ever got that go out somewhere and y'all finna go to the beach or ride through the nature or whatever, boy, get that wagon there. That Jeep wagon. Yes, yeah, sir. Motherfucker. That motherfucker gonna do it. Since I've been doing this damn Jeep documentary, boy, I sure been looking at them motherfuckers, too. Oh, man, like that Wrangler. Yeah, boy. Take little dolls off. <laughs> like on Gucci, man. Boy. Hey. For real, for real. Hey, don't be too hard, though. No, it's really, hard, because really. you can do so much with them, bro. Yeah, boy. They ain't just like a car, you know what I mean? You can customize it how you want to. Man, you can put campers on them bitches. Yeah. Bro, you can motherfucking... Man, you can, you can park... You, you seen how nigga be parking on yeah, each other and on shit? The tie. Yeah, man, you yeah, do they, all they that. They do that all the time. Every event I go to, it's a Jeep doing that. They, they do that for the rock climbing and yeah, shit, exactly. you know what I mean? And they good and for... suspension. Yes, yeah, sir. Suspension. Talking about they good for that rock climbing and shit, man. Have my boy RJ them, they be in the motherfucker out there in the mountains on in them four by four got them going through creeks. RJ be doing some extreme camping. <laughs> I, I, I ain't with all that shit. Yeah, yeah my boy ain't screen with it. Them niggas got there and get lost in the mountain three hours, gotta wait two hours for a tow truck. <laughs> yeah, I ain't with all that bullshit though. <laughs> I got them going some woods and I got them set the tin up and campfire boy, but all they got down. What goddamn, you remember that show we were watching motherfucker come back with goddamn two fingers? I finger. shouldn't be alive. Yeah, motherfucker come back with goddamn Pro two fingers oh missing no. and shit, boy. I ain't with that shit. No, yeah, sir. That extreme get... cabin, they got to dig a hole in the, You remember the other one we were watching, buddy, was digging a hole in the lake? Oh, hell Drilling yeah. a hole in the lake, goddamn fishing. Hell yeah, no, boy. That was RJ said he thought about when he was out there. He said the first thing I thought about it that I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> I said, I told you, fuck around no mountain, but I need somebody to be sleepy behind bears and shit. Fuck that. They be up in the mountain. Goddamn South Carolina, North Georgia. No, boy, I ain't with that, yeah. I'm saying I like to count, you know what I'm saying? But I just ain't with the extreme camping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause they see they the type they ain't just finna go they finna drive up the mountain through the goddamn little yeah, trails and shit cross yeah. over a creek by this high oh. yeah see I ain't putting my car through that shit yeah oh no nah, you gotta have them four by four get up there where they at I don't see they ain't gonna go well yeah, no 
RJ got four by four. Hell yeah, nah, he be running with a buddy and got them four runners and shit. Yeah. And the Wranglers and shit. Oh yeah, see them. They yeah, see they they ready for the bullshit. They they hope something will go wrong. Oh no, nah, they got the little pipes that come out the goddamn bottom of their shit so they can ride through water and shit. Oh man. <coughs> yeah, hell yeah, no. Nah. They got the snorkels on their goddamn yeah. trucks. You see, you be seeing them trucks, them big motherfuckers. They got them, them on their four wheelers. Boy, where we be going camping at? They be having them so they yeah, shit they don't flood. They be having flood. them on their four wheelers. They be having the four wheeler all the way under the water with a little snorkel sticking out the top of it. Like as long as they be sticking out, they be gonna keep going. Sticking out, they be gonna keep going. They be gonna come up out the water. Boom, 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 they boom, 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 that shit, that what's up, man. You got to go camping with him one time, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that. You got to go camping with him one time. We got to fuck around for the summer over with, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Don't go camping, man. Let's get you outside one time, man. No, I like that. Uh, vlog, do the show vlog from the goddamn campsite, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole nine. That would be lit, though. Yeah, man. We be doing a little food on the grill. Because, see, it, it's like uh, what they call the shit. Where they like it's no electricity. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like we ain't got no we ain't gonna have no power. Your phone ain't gonna hardly work. Type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you saying like ain't gonna be no goddamn yeah. reception. It's primitive. They call it primitive primitive camping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well like it they got a restroom out there, you know what I'm saying? Clean bathroom and shit, but like ain't no electricity. Funny. You know what I'm saying? Like you you, you gotta charge your phone on it well on your car. Ain't no, ain't nowhere to plug your phone up. Ain't nowhere to plug no generator. Ain't nowhere to Hell plug nothing no. up. You know what I'm saying? It's like primitive camping. That's what they call it. Primitive, like you just out in the woods type shit. That high pole to be though. That high pole to be though. You know what I'm saying? Cause you could bring all your little gadgets. Yeah, exactly. Shit. You got your car. You got now. Uh, I got a generator. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I charge the phone on the generator. I don't really even be using the phone, but for some music. Yeah. For the goddamn, you know, little Wi-Fi for the speaker and shit. Barbecue grill, you know, put some shit on the grill real quick and goddamn, hey, post up and kick it, man. Might take a ride on the four-wheeler, take off. But they got a lake and shit out there. Yeah, they got a lake out there, too. You know what I'm saying? You can ride all through the woods and shit on the four wheelers. But there'd be a lot of other people out there yeah. riding too, so yeah. you got yeah, there, yeah. you go bump it to the folk. The folk got the side by sides and everything out there. The folks out there bit kicking it now. With the bit utility four wheelers. Like I said, the motherfucker, they be having a bitch underwater. Like. I know them tired, he did be ain't gonna be with this shit. Yeah, the motherfucker had a bitch all under the water, show. Like, for real, for real. Water be up the hill on a nigga. But I seen one of them four wheelers before. That shit was so big, y'all. Not just the tires. I'm the saying whole the body. Four -wheeler. Of the four -wheeler. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> damn. I was like, man, that shit look like a beetle. <laughs> you know, the little car, yeah. little boy. Yeah. That, that, that shit be big, boy. Be See that a utility four wheeler. That them motherfucker that, huge. That, that like the hunting four wheeler. Motherfucker might kill a deer and bring it back on that motherfucker. Oh yeah, I can believe that. That motherfucker pull your car out of ditch. That four wheeler, that big ass four wheeler. What you talking about? I got a winch on the front of it. Like, oh, that pool. Yeah. Damn. I'm pull your car out of goddamn ditch, y'all, like a tow truck. So they make the, okay, they get stuck in the mud or something. Mm -hmm. They can then connect to a tree and pull that stuff out. Yeah. Put the winch to a goddamn tree and pull that motherfucker right out. That crazy. That motherfucker will pull a car out of ditch, boy. That four wheeler. Them bitches <laughs> big, though. <Yeah. laughs> Bro, I, I, I bought a go kart from a nigga. I was Stevenson, and I went to a house mm -hmm. to get the go kart. That when I was staying with my old lady mama and them over there. Bro, that nigga opened the garage, bro. That nigga had like a regular little four wheeler. Then that nigga had that big ass. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? That you made it yourself? He was like, no, man. He had some big ass tires on that bitch. Yeah. The goddamn four wheeler was big. That shit was taking up the whole garage. <laughs> like a real car. Oh, yeah. I said, God. Damn. <laughs> that motherfucker big as hell. Because guess what? I done seen them on TV, but they don't look that big. But in real life, them bitches like big, yeah. bro. Them bitches big. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Who want to ride this big ass thing? Big hell, I couldn't bro. even ride that, bro. Like, it wouldn't make no sense for me to ride that. Mm. That bitch just looked like it'll flip over or some shit. 
we need to find some we need to find us a dispensary. So I wish we I wish they'd let us film inside a dispensary. Bro, we got down there. Those we got, we got a smoke shop. So we can feel it, you know. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I need to put the plan in those man. But yeah, man, you know what I mean. Sneakers and scram, man. You know what I mean. We coming to a goddamn a network in the hood near you. You know what I'm saying. And we gonna have the sneakers in the strand. Most definitely, most. Motherfucking definitely. And yeah, we're gonna give y'all people some positive motivation, man. Some goddamn motivation <coughs> to get it up. Be something in life, man. Don't sit around watching other people become something, man. Get out there and be something yourself. If they can do it, you can do it. Goddamn, if he can do it, we can do it. You feel me? Better believe it, man. We gotta learn how to start unifying as a as a black race of people. You know what I mean? We gotta right. we gotta start looking at each other as like competition or Ops and shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you see way. another black man that may be looking successful, or a group of black men that may be looking successful, don't be all oh, them lame ass nigga. Oh, they ain't did nothing for me. Or if you see a group of black men that look unsuccessful, don't be looking at them like you know what I mean. Oh, them niggas ain't shit. Them niggas ain't having that. You know what I mean? Cause get what? Ten years from now, them nigga could be having all the motion, and the nigga who having the motion sitting so on the sideline, goddamn. Talking about what they used to do. <laughs> talking about goddamn. You feel me? Boy, we used to have all the bags around. <laughs> you feel me? Drunk talking and shit, man. But at the end of the day, man. Now them young niggas up on your ass. Exactly. You just Same got no them young niggas you shit on. That's what I say, man. I respect every man, bro. I don't care what you got. It ain't about none of that. Got long long to respect <laughs> me. We all right. You feel me? Believe it. We can get along, my nigga. I ain't got down. I, ain't, cause I come from a po I come from a po up bringing. I ain't come from no money. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So, shit, at the end of the day, I can relate to my own people. Believe it. Shit, nigga. I don't know. I had to eat goddamn, goddamn syrup on goddamn bread, goddamn. Hey, <laughs> you feel we me? We all done had to. You God. feel me? But at the end of the day, man, I just want to encourage the next generation to do better, man. That's how, that what we here for, bro. That what we here for. And that what we do best. You know Talk what I'm saying? That's why, they, that why they fuck with us, bro. How they do. Yeah. That's exactly why they fuck with us, how they do, bro. I promise you. We gotta fuck with the youngsters, man. Yeah, because how we show them respect first, man. As a, as a man, because we treat them like a man first. Exactly. Gotta when they respect. fucking up, I tell them when they fucking up, too. I don't just got down yeah, kissing the young nigga ass, either. You feel me? Nah, you when gotta I let them know, up, I let them straight up know, hey, bro, you, that was wrong. You know, you shouldn't have been riding around with that gun and that weed. Exactly. Smoking in that car, bro. I told you. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? When I told them, warned you a million times. A million times. Time. What gonna happen, bro? If you ever get caught, the police ain't got to win but one time. That's it. You can get away a thousand times. You ain't got to get caught but one time and get banged. And now your whole life done changed because now you got down convicted felon. You can't get certain jobs, can't go to certain schools, can't get certain degrees. You know what I mean? Can't get certain apartments. Now what I, mean? I be trying to get them to understand <laughs> is... Certain houses and shit. Cause they, get with the first thing they tell me. Oh, gee, my blick is legit. I understand your gun legit, nephew. But guess what? Yeah, when you got that goddamn 3-5 of that Zaza. Yeah. With that blicky, mm -hmm. your blicky automatically becomes illegal. Yeah, yeah, Immediately. Have, you can't have them drugs you and guns together. You can't have the drugs and the guns together. If you going to ride with your legit blicky, leave your 3-5 at home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. If you going to ride with your 3-5, leave your blicky goddamn at home. Yeah, damn it. So you got to make a choice. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all be saying, oh boy, I can't get caught without it. So guess what? You got to get caught without the 3-5, my a, boy. That's <laughs> you're going to have to take you got to get, You got to not get caught. You got to leave the 3-5 then. So if you got to have the blicky, you got to leave the sticky. Yeah, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got to be going to off that shit one. I'm to my quickly. Yeah, yeah. I'm to my, if you got to have the blicky, you got to leave the sticky. One of the two. You know what I'm saying? We just be trying to get our young, our young player partners, man, some good, some good advice, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that we, nobody gave us. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Lee got dang. We can lead you to the war. You feel me? Can't make you drink, man. Can't make you drink it, but we can lead you there. You feel me? And that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Because we were young before, too. 
acting a goddamn fool out here. Boy, what? Need east side, west side street. You know what I mean? For real, for real. For real, bro. They don't. Doing the same yeah. shit, they well not the same shit, but Damn, we were still, still at the end of the day doing shit. wrong is wrong. Ain't, ain't no different, <coughs> goddamn. Yeah, you know I mean, scamming or what you doing? You <laughs> breaking in somebody's house or they yeah. call, stealing money out their account, whatever. Goddamn, it's all wrong. So nah. goddamn, I ain't gonna put no level to it. Yeah, I ain't gonna say nigga, you a level two criminal. <laughs> you a it's all criminal. It's all criminal activity. Cause get yeah, what? It wrong, man. Yeah, on some positive yeah. shit nowadays, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause we ain't have platforms like the younger generation where when we have ideas, we could just broadcast it to the whole world with exactly. a click of a button. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We couldn't express our talent with a click of a button. We couldn't show our new shoes, our new clothes, our new this, our old this, or old that with a click of a button. You feel what I'm saying? We couldn't show goddamn the police jet, goddamn shot, goddamn Lil Ray Ray in the back for nothing. Yeah. Goddamn, you know what I mean? We ain't, we ain't come up in that era. You know what I mean? Nigga had to really go through shit and goddamn, you got to have to prove something. We ain't have cameras on every goddamn corner. You know what I mean? Technology done turned the world up, boy. Hey, boy, the phone done made everybody dumb, though. Like, I be telling my goddamn kids and, and, and a young nigga, boy, get what? Nigga, we used to navigate around this city with no navigation. I'm just saying. True. We might have a little goddamn map or something, a paper yeah, map or something. Paper, you, say, you, you know what I mean? Which street to turn on. You feel me? And then I got to stop at a pay phone. To call somebody, that shit or beep somebody, <laughs> and wait for these niggas to get to a payphone there. They're gonna beep you back. Hey, bro, where y'all at? Crazy. Oh, shit, bro, we up here on County Road. <laughs> oh, man, y'all can't come get me. Shit, bro, where you at? Nigga be waiting for the, by the payphone for a ride. Right. Well, I'm over here at the payphone. I don't got them getting wood. Damn, man. You feel? We had one payphone in the shelter, though, but I ain't gonna lie. But then you to be the day, though, bro. Nigga had to find their way around. But one thing about it, we got around. You feel me? Hey. We did. And we got outside. Like, my kid don't even like to go outside that much. Damn. They go outside for an hour, but it over with. It's hot. We gone. Uh, my mama couldn't even keep me in the goddamn house, bitch. Mm. Shit, man, I get out of school, but I drop that book back down. You know, mama always say, do your homework before you go outside. I fake kick it like I did my homework. She and I'm gone. Right out of <laughs> Shit, I ain't coming back to the street like, come on. Hey, man. <laughs> you know what time you gotta come home when the street light when come the street on. Light come on, man. See, but other than that, I was outside in the gym shooting basketball, creek walking, got them stealing that stove, trying to steal from the can later. Got them or something. I was out there doing something. Something, man. Before we get yeah, out of man. here, man, we want to give condolences to um, Metro Boomer family. Yeah, man. Hit mama. Lost man. his mama. You know what I'm saying? That real, man. Due to domestic violence, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that's yep. more, much love to, you know what I'm saying, Metro and his family, you know what I'm saying? Much condolences to them. Real talk. Real talk, man. It's just like, <laughs> y'all just got to stop beating like, man, that, uh, that's all crazy about that domestic oh, yeah, violence. Man. Shit crazy, and, and, and before we go, we got to speak on the domestic violence. You know what I mean? Especially with the men and these women. You know what I mean? The men, I gotta speak to y'all brothers, cause y'all the one doing all the killing about the women. <laughs> Jeez, you feel me? Like what is going on with y'all, bro? Like y'all got a problem, man. Think before y'all pull that trigger, bro. Cause let me tell you something. You ain't got but one time to got down squeeze that trigger and make that mistake. They gonna change your life forever. Ain't no motherfucking most niggas and scram. Ever, ever, forever, yeah. ever. Ain't no more smoking scram. Ain't yeah. never. I'm talking about, but ain't no more fucking then. Man. Ain't no more getting no money. You might get some money, but get what you ain't gonna be able to spend. It. Yeah, you can buy a car, but you ain't gonna be able to ride it. You can buy a house, but you ain't gonna be able to live in. <laughs> yeah. So basically, shit. I mean, man, y'all gotta think before y'all take the lives of people, because you're not only just killing that person, man. You killing a sister, or you killing a mom or an auntie. You killing a brother, a dad, or an uncle. You ain't just kill that man. You just kill the children. The little nephew he was taking care of, the auntie and uncle he was looking out for, the homeboy he was looking out for, Everybody. they kid. All them folks that depend on this person, you just took all them. But it's going to be a lot of people hate you out in that world. Trust me, not just goddamn the immediate people you think hate you, but it's going to be some real hatred out there for you, though. But, yeah, man, that's just a word, man. Y'all think for y'all pulling them trigger, though, man. But that, with that being said, goddamn slip, but you got something to say. 
Oh, Before man. we take this thing up out of here, man. Oh, man, it's been another edition of Sneakers and Strands, man. We appreciate the love. It's your boy Sleep by Ziggy. Yeah, man, it's your boy Hard and Art, man. Hey, man, we signing out, man. Another episode of Sneakers and Strands, man. Yeah, yeah, get at them. And that's a cut.